Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be about the month of September. What can you expect in love? What are the recent past energies, current energies, whatever challenge or issue is going on? A little bit about your person and the possible outcome. We'll be looking at all of that today. Keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, so it will not resonate for every single Aquarius 100%. So take what resonates for you. All right, for Aquarius. Spirit angels, guides. What's going on for Aquarius in love in the month of September? What's going on for Aquarius? For Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius in love? What's this Okay, what's been going on in the recent past? Recent past for Aquarius, please, Spirit. What's going on in the recent past for Aquarius? Wow, the Ace of Pentacles, great. So it's been, it's been going pretty good, I think. <laughs> Either you've had some sort of opportunity, something has happened for you where maybe money is really good right now, finances, stability. Maybe someone made you some sort of an offer. Tell me more about the recent past here for Aquarius. What's been going on? Recent past energies for Aquarius. Eight of Swords. Okay, so maybe if there was an offer extended to you, you've been thinking about it a lot. Maybe you've been hesitant to take this opportunity, a bit fearful. Um, if this is not your energy, this could be the energy of the person um, coming into your life or that you're dealing with right now. Maybe this is someone afraid to make you an offer. That could also be a way to interpret this. I feel like if this is an offer that's being made to you, um, you're thinking about an issue, an obstacle. Something is like holding you back here. From really taking this offer right away whether this is an offer of, of employment an offer for a partnership an offer for like commitment etc etc someone has been like dating online and you just haven't been able to open up to anybody that's not for everyone but i am picking up that that will resonate for someone watching that it, you know there's been multiple people that you've met or talked to but you just haven't been able to take the plunge with any of them What's the current energy? What's the current energy for Aquarius in love? Yeah, so there's a bit of a waiting energy here with the Seven of Pentacles. It's almost like you're wondering, will that work out? Will this be a good option? What does the future hold? You know, the Seven of Pentacles is a bit anxious, a bit impatient. They've worked really hard. Um, and so now it's like, where are the results? Are the results going to be any good? That's the seven of pentacles. So I feel like there's something here that you're still kind of processing, thinking about in terms, you know, whether it's, this could be a career reading, but I'm, you know, this is a love reading. So I'm going to focus on love. Um, let's see what else. Current energies, please, for Aquarius in love. For the current energies. For Aquarius yeah seven of wands you know it's like you're resisting something blocked blocking something unsure I mean I feel like the seven of wands is kind of like I'm not sure about that I don't know if I want that in my life I don't know if I want to invite that in um, this could also be that some of you are a bit hesitant to accept something because you're just the future is just too scary the unknown is too scary for you some of you have been dealing possibly with a person that you're not in contact with and it's because you block them or you stop talking to them but you can't help but think about them eat at the same time you know it's a bit of a conflicting energy there
Yeah, I feel like some of you have like a choice to make here. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And it's almost like there's, again, this, there's like a, an, um, this anxious energy. So it's almost like you're just not sure about it. If this is a person you're meeting, if this is someone you already know, if this is a job offer or a love offer, it doesn't matter. It, the, the reaction is the same. You just don't know. What are the challenges or issues here for Aquarius? What are the challenges or the issues here, Spirit, for Aquarius? There you are, Aquarius, the star. <laughs> I, I really want to say the challenge is you, but obviously it's more, it's deeper than that. I think the challenge here could be that you don't have hope or faith in something working out. Um, you're doubting the future of something or you're doubting the outcome of something. Let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments. I also feel like the star showing up here, it's like the ball is in your court, right? Whatever challenge or issues happening here, you could be the one to either improve it or end it, right? Tell me about the challenge or issue here. Healing could also be an issue as well. Like maybe you're not completely healed from something or a relationship hasn't truly healed, something like that. Tell me about the challenge or issue here for Aquarius in love. Yeah, there's a two of pentacles. You don't have faith that something will work out or something might feel a bit hopeless. Pointless is what I heard. That is pointless. This is very simple, clear energy here with the two of pentacles, the two of wands. You're going back and forth about something. You're not sure about something. If this isn't you, this is the other person's energy that's coming through. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is you because your energy has shown up here. You're the only major arcana on this whole spread and it happens to be your sign. What are the odds? <laughs> but I feel like there, that's what's going on here. It's a very simple message that just repeats itself. What has been going on in the recent past? Someone's a bit afraid or overthinking. What's going on in the present? Someone's still not sure about something. Hesitant worried about the future and what's the challenge someone can't decide right very very uh, they all go together i feel like you're not sure if you should put your faith in something let's look at the energies here this is the second edition of stellar energy oracle deck but the card back design will be changing so i'm still tweaking this it's not available just yet but i am going to start using it um, the front design won't change, but this card back, I feel like it's too similar to Ever After, so I'm changing it to something different. All right, let's get some energies down here about this recent past and current energy. Spirit, tell me, what's going on here in the recent past? What's the overall energy here for the recent past and current energy for Aquarius, please? Unexpected event, revelation, upheaval, endings, a tower. That's what happened. That's what's missing here, a tower. Something unexpected, something shocking, something um, that rattled you. This could have happened to you, Aquarius, or you caused a tower yourself. You brought something down yourself. I feel that's that that makes sense now why you're I feel like you're still affected by this tower. Whatever this was. Could be a revelation, something that ended unexpectedly, something that surprised you, shocked you. Tell me more about the energies here for the recent past. Current energy for Aquarius. Falling leaves. Time changes everything changes transition time so there has been some changes that have happened for you or changes that need to happen but maybe you're a bit i don't know i feel like this tower brought about some serious changes for you and maybe you weren't prepared for it 
bottom of the deck is restoring balance so i feel like yes you've been trying to find your footing again is what i think is happening here but whatever this was, like it brought about a serious change for you. And I think you're still reeling from that or affected by that. Tell me more. Tell me more for Aquarius. What's going on with this recent current energies here? What's going on here? Rendezvous, meeting, get together, reunion. So someone could be wanting to meet up with you, connect with you, uh, someone from the past perhaps. Maybe you met up with someone, you know, while dating or something like that. Someone could be wanting to meet up with you and you're like, oh, I'm not sure about that. Or someone could be wanting to reunite with you, come together and you're like, oh, I'm not sure about that. What else? curse bad luck punishment or karma <laughs> yeah okay so i feel like this is a complicated situation the tarot is not going to be able to tell us everything goblin at the bottom of the deck untrustworthy trickster avoidant you're finding it hard to trust someone because or maybe the in the past you trusted the wrong person i feel like you've had bad luck or have dealt with people you can't trust or there have been issues with a particular person I think that's playing into why you're not ready to kind of decide. You know, for example, if this is someone from the past that uh, treated you badly or uh, played with you or, you know, ended up tricking you or, or lying to you, for example, and it, they want to come back and meet up, in your mind, you're like, why would I do that? It would just end up the same way. I'm not interested in that. I'm not open to that. Let's look at their energies. This other person. Tell me about this other person's energies. When it comes to Aquarius. What do we need to know about this other person? Oh, they walked away. So this is somebody that walked away from you or walked away from something related to you. I feel like this person left this connection for something else or they thought the grass was greener on the other side. They were like, oh, I'm going to go somewhere else. I, this isn't for me. Tell me more. Tell me more for Aquarius. Tell me about this other person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. Oh, they're coming back in. That's what's going on here. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to apologize for leaving. Apologize for choosing someone else. Apologize for um, whatever happened here. I feel like this is somebody who uh, might be having regrets. Might even tell you, hey, you're right. I'm going to get a PS I love you. This is also available already on my Etsy shop. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that is coming back in Aquarius. And I think that's where the doubt comes in on your end. Tell me about this other person's energies towards Aquarius. What do we need to know about this other person's energies? Mistakes. <laughs> oh yeah, I made a mistake. That's what they're going to tell you. I made a mistake. You were right. I shouldn't have done that. This is such a clear reading. What else? What else do we need to know about this other person's energies? Love everlasting. So they might tell you, hey, I still love you. I can still see this working out. You're the one for me. You're the one I see myself with. Bottom of the deck. I wish I could go back in time. Very clear energy. This is someone that has regrets over the decisions they've made in the past. That I feel, I feel that this departure really affected you. So it's almost like, wow, you're coming back in now? I feel like some of you, you know, it's like this offer, I feel, is an offer that someone has really thought about. If that's that Ace of Pentacles there. Some of you, I feel like you're getting another offer. It's like you're getting an offer from someone 
whether it's a job offer or someone new. But I feel like you're going to have to decide between the new and the old, whether it's an old person or an old job. But of course, this is a love reading. I'm going to stick to the love reading angle here. <laughs> Aquarius, if you're enjoying this reading, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Let's see what's going on here um, in the um, future. What's the possible outcome for Aquarius spirit? What's the possible outcome here for Aquarius? Wow, the lovers. Gemini energy. I feel like this person... Um, they might be a soulmate, Aquarius, and that complicates things, right? Because just, you know, and let me be clear, just because someone is a soulmate doesn't mean that you accept every single thing that they bring with them, right? You don't have to accept, just because someone's a soulmate doesn't mean you have to take crap from them, right? Um, not to say that you have, but I want to make it clear that just because someone's a soulmate doesn't mean that we forgive and forget everything that they've done, right? Soulmates are still human beings, so they make mistakes. I feel like the problem here is that you logically don't want anything to do with this person, but your heart might be pulling you in another direction. You might be caught between two, two different ways of thinking. What does your mind tell you and what does your heart tell you? Because the lovers is about a choice as well, between what your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you, right? It's that, like that inner conflict. What is the possible outcome here? for Aquarius. Okay, we have the Emperor. Wow, look at all these major arcanas that have shown up out of nowhere. Aries energy and the Nine of Cups. So this could be somebody that comes into you as a divine masculine, as an Emperor. Very motivated. Um, the Emperor is very decisive, takes charge. The Emperor does not play around. I could I could give that this person that credit. If they're showing up as an Emperor, an emperor is not a player. This is not someone that deceives you. Um, this is someone that, you know, it could be that a lot of time has happened here, Aquarius, between whatever happened with you and this person and them coming in now. Um, there Maybe many years have passed, enough for someone to grow up or mature. Bottom of the deck, though, I have the devil energy, Capricorn energy there. So, you know, take that as it resonates. It could be that there's a, a very strong attachment here between you and this person. And I think that they're coming in to get their wish, with, which is, you know, to be with you. They would love to be with their soulmate. There's a lot of lust, a lot of attraction here I'm picking up with the devil. But the devil is a card about restriction. I feel like this is what you fear. You fear becoming trapped. You know, maybe this is exactly what you wanted for this person to come back and admit that they made a mistake. But in the back of your mind, you're like, do I really want to do this again? Can I trust them again? Or will I end up in the same spot that I was in before? That could also be why you're kind of having this inner conflict. But I feel like this emperor will show up in the near future. And we'll make you some sort of a proposal here with the Knight of Cups, right? It could be something as easy as just apologizing, but I feel like they are coming back in. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you're interested in any of my decks, they are linked down below. I also have a book, Love Tarot Made Easy, where I go into all 78 cards of the tarot and how you can interpret them for love. It's available on Amazon with Prime Shipping if you want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching once again. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.